creative, imitative, and stage hacks. The last doesn't sound too good, does it? Um, creative was basically, the, he defined this as the, the initial part of the actor process. So when an actor first comes to the text, you'll probably feel that there's initial gaw, rut, and raw reactions to what you're doing. You don't really think about it that much, but you, the feelings start to happen and they come and you naturally take your impulses. Once you've done it a thousand times, and once Stanislavski had done it a thousand times, what he noticed was that he was no longer experiencing the feelings anymore, but he was still going through the motions. So basically, he was remembering what emotion looked like. So for example, he got to that part in the play, this is a thousand production of it, and he knows he's got to pick up this chair and throw it across the room, and he's got to get angry, but he doesn't feel angry anymore. What does he have to do? He has to imitate what anger looks like. So he raises his voice. He carries out the action. He does all the things that look like anger, but he's no longer experiencing it. And that means it doesn't go as deep and it doesn't affect and move an audience as much. And what he wanted to do was create what he created in rehearsals, that creative phase, and keep it in production after production after production and make sure that it wasn't a hit and miss event, that he could predict the results on the majority of cases. What do you think a stage hack is? Let me make this easy. We've all seen a stage hack. They usually move around beautifully on the stage. Their voice is perfect and hits the back of the room and is beautiful. And they move around the stage with complete confidence. However, there's something missing. You don't care about them. You don't care whether they live or die. And the issue with that is, if you do not care about a character, you're not doing your job as an actor. The audience should care about you, even if you're playing somebody like Eddie Amin, like Forrest Whitaker did, in a strange sort of way, we found him charming and funny as well as evil and disturbing. So it's really important that um, the actor really takes that journey uh, to really create the character fully, because if somebody was going to play you in a film or a play, how well would you want them to know you? Extremely well. So anyway, a stage hack. Yeah, they, they don't really care about the character that much. Who do they care about? Themselves. They care about coming on stage and the audience going, wow, they were fantastic. And that is their prime importance. It's not really dealing with the character.